How can using biochar benefit our lawns and gardens? Well, as it turns out, there are several advantages that it brings when used as an amendment for soil. One of the key benefits of biochar is its ability to store carbon in the soil for hundreds, even thousands of years. This long-term storage is thanks to the presence of stable carbon. But what exactly is stable carbon? Imagine soil as a buffet for all kinds of tiny living organisms. There are two main types of carbon on this buffet. Label carbon and stable carbon. Label carbon is basically compost, readily available for consumption by microbes. That's right, they eat carbon, decomposing it relatively quickly and releasing carbon dioxide back into the atmosphere. Stable carbon, on the other hand, is not easily broken down by microbes. It's tightly bound within biochar's structure. This makes it a much slower release form of carbon, staying locked away in the soil for many years. Labile carbon has a very fast turnover rate. Microbes readily consume it, releasing energy and converting it into other forms like microbial mass and carbon dioxide. This rapid breakdown cycle is crucial for maintaining a healthy and active soil ecosystem. Labile carbon comes from various sources, including decaying plant matter and animal manure. These fresh organic inputs constantly replenish the labile carbon in the soil. Think of labile carbon as the readily available energy source for the soil's microbial residents, while stable carbon in biochar is like a long-term savings account for carbon storage. Both play vital roles. Labile carbon fuels the soil ecosystem, while stable carbon sequesters carbon in the soil for extended periods. The process of creating biochar through pyrolysis, or heating organic matter with limited oxygen, transforms the material into a structure rich in stable carbon. The tightly packed aromatic rings and condensed carbon chains within biochar are difficult for microbes to access and break down. This resistance to decomposition allows the carbon in biochar to remain stored in the soil for a very long time. Indigenous Amazonian civilizations used biochar very successfully. They would burn dead wood and dried out vegetation in a controlled manner to produce biochar. I assume while cooking it to utilize the heat, as I also like to do. Afterward, mixing it with fresh organic matter from daily life, such as composted waste and manure, then it was all incorporated back into the garden soil. This resourceful approach significantly improved the soil's fertility transforming what were once naturally nutrient-deficient areas into thriving agricultural lands, capable of supporting a diverse range of crops and sustaining these communities. By adding biochar to your soil, you're essentially adding a reservoir of stable carbon. This carbon sequestration not only helps keep carbon out of the atmosphere, but also improves soil fertility and health in the long term. Biochar can be a powerful tool for gardeners. If you're interested in biochar, or would like to learn more about how it can benefit your garden, check out the resources in the video description below. Thanks for watching.